What's up guys, Park here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna to talk about uh, old change stickers, not just that, and you know, selling old changes. How can we do it the fastest way possible? How can we stay accurate? And you know, stay consistent with the customer every time he comes in. Um, pressing the button right here, yeah, that's nice, only one problem. It's not the correct filter, it's not the correct how many chords and all of that, if I can find myself again. So the idea is I'm trying to reverse this, you know, instead of starting from here, let's start from the sticker. Let's add the, the, the information first. So let's talk about that right here. So we're gonna click on, first obviously you gotta add the mileage. Once you add the mileage, you're gonna come here and there's a lot has changed right here. Obviously you need to add the capacity and then the viscosity, like you know, let's say this one is 0W20, the oil filter we added a couple more things we added the oil brand too which oil to use if you don't see the oil brand that you use right here uh, just shoot us an email we'll be happy to, to add it um, most of the big names are right here let's say you know we're doing uh, mobile one it's my favorite and let's say we're you can now set the oil life too so you can set the oil life even if you're not I definitely recommend using all printer sticker but even if you're not using it um, that's fine you still can use this features um, if you look if you look right here even we added the, the, the like what type of oil and what type of viscosity on the sticker itself something I think a lot of people have been asking about so what happened even if I click exit if I click right here on under print now it saves everything mobile one uh, it takes 4.5 the viscosity and all that how do I sell an all change? Really simple. Just click on, uh, let's go back right here. Even like when this comment right here, we added, this is clickable right now. So if I click on, it's going to bring me here. Just click on the plus sign up top and it's going to add the all change for you. And let's take a look at this. Where it, did it get the prices? Well, if this is the first time you're doing all change, let me, where am I? If this is the first time you're doing the all change, the, the quantity will be there, but the price is it's not going to be there. But once you do an all change for that customer, the next time he comes in, we will select the last entry. I will select the prices, the cost, and the sell. And uh, we will select the part numbers too. If you have part numbers right there, where you get it from the vendor, even for the oil filter, and we'll select for you, your, your, like, uh, I always talk about this because you cannot, you're not supposed to be putting 60, 165. If your hourly rate 165 and put one, the best way to do it is put dash and let's say, I don't know, charge for $50. Minimum, you should be charging $50, by the way, for all changes. All changes are supposed to be like um, a way of bringing customers in, but at the same time, if you're not making, if you're not paying attention, you're losing tons of money. Because if I need an all change for my Range Rover at the dealership, it's $500. If I need a Range Rover for, if you need a Range Rover for a Lamborghini, it's like two thousand, three thousand, and make crazy prices. So I think it's fair to charge ninety dollars um, for regular cars. That's a good price, to be honest with you. So yeah, so the the idea is once let's let's test this out. Let's say you know what this time we had to raise the price on them. We're gonna make it sixty dollars. Update and we're gonna. You know, we get the filter from, we start getting the filter from Pet Boys, and this is $12.95 now. So, this is, we charge the customer this. Let's go ahead and authorize it. Pay invoice, cash, and then let's say the customer came back. I hope it's the Fusion, I forgot. But anyway, first thing we add the mileage, say 139, confirm. And now we will need to add the sticker. All you have to do next time. So once you get, you only save the data once, right? Once you get the data, it doesn't matter. Just click on a plus sign and that's it. Look, we got the $60. We got the Pat Boys. We got, you know, the last price. I think, where am I at? Okay. I think this is, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I, <laughs> I think this is genius. Um, it's not connected to your um, to your um, inventory yet. Let's make sure that this is the way we want it. Let's all agree on one 
form of how we're supposed to add all chain because look it's going to say synthetic blend syn is false synthetic there's no need to add i that's why i saw arizona is doing it this way Sent syn synthetic blend, synthetic in this case obviously synthetic blend but if it's uh, false synthetic it's syn so it's not like it's not going to say false synthetic and the sticker is going to have this information and it's going to say 5w20 um I think it's brilliant. This is it. But let's all agree on this first. Make sure that we get the okay. And then if that's the case, then we'll connect it to your inventory so you can do the same thing. And next time, like every time the customer come in for an old change, instead of you trying to pull your hair out, trying to figure out what you charged them last time, or I can even take you to your old invoice and transfer it. But I need it faster than that. And that's faster than that. And being more accurate is basically coming here Let's do this one more time. Um, click on the print right there. Click on that plus sign. Always review, make sure those are perfect for your mechanic too. So he knows how to perform the job super quickly. Oh, it's 0W20, uh, 4.5. Oh, Synthetic Mobile One and the Oil Life, all that. And anytime you want to edit this, just double click on that and, and let you edit it. Anyway. Um, I hope uh, if, if you have any concern or you think you can improve or that or just please let me know. I want to talk about one more thing before I go is you, you're not supposed to be doing all change in one line. I used to do it myself. I, that was wrong because anytime you're selling in our business, you're supposed to list uh, all the products, right? All the par uh, parts and part number especially oil filter when you do it in one line it's kind of saying like you didn't change the oil filter uh, another thing is oil filter is getting expensive it used to be a one dollar and I'm like you know what I just make all of them uh, 11 95 14 not anymore oil filters are expensive man they're 20 dollars now oil filter anytime i need an oil filter they're becoming paper and you would think they're more cheaper now they're more expensive uh, my oil filter for my car one of them 35 the other ones 45 i think it's insane out there so be careful start making money on all changes do it right be accurate and be consistent until next time thanks for watching